Welcome back to the stream. Um, since I last streamed, it's been a couple of rounds. Um, we last played Richmond on a stream, I think. Um, yes, which we beat them 89 to 85. Um, followed by round 11, where we beat the Gold Coast Suns 110 to 84. But I fractured my forearm because I'm good like that, and I'm still injured to this day. It's around 16 now, so it's a fairly severe injury. Um, I can't do much about it. Uh, round 12, we had a bye. Round 13, we put West Coast to the sword, 112 to 59. Jake Stringer kicked seven goals. Very impressive. Um, followed up with a win over St Kilda, 129 to 90. Um, so the other sides, they're still scoring pretty well, but they're just not playing very well against us. Round 15, we beat the Western Bulldogs, 130 to 49. And um, now we're here to start off round 16. So just quickly before we get on the way, I'll just show you all our leaders. So leading disposals, Dylan Shield overtook me on disposals, well done Dylan. Um, marks, I'm still beating them all somehow. Stoppages, bell chambers, and yeah. Um, inside 50s, for some reason we don't have rebound 50s, I don't know how we get those. Um, Dylan Shield for Zahra against. Dylan Shield leading the tackles. He looks set for a best and fairest this year. Uh, Con McKenna, who I have stopped playing because he retired so it doesn't really seem right to play him much anymore um, and our goals I'm on 53 Jackie's on 33 alright let's beat Hawthorne uh, at Marvel Stadium should be good I'm pretty excited and oh I need to change my bloody audio again um, it's always annoying when I have to do that, to be honest. But, that's just how it goes. So, how are you guys going? Hope you're going well, wherever you are. Um... Yes, so for the first couple of bits, um, I will need to change the audio just slightly because I forgot to. Is the Bont kicking for goal on his non-preferred, I believe, goal kicking, particularly set shot goal kicking isn't exactly his forte, um, but that's alright. He's sitting versus the Hawks, should be a thriller. I'm Anthony Hudson. Well, half the seats are filled here today. I suspect that's as good as it's going to get. We're it's a pleasure to that. welcome Gary Lyon. Hey, hello. As always, it's an honour to call this match with your good self. Tonight, sure it's is. Essendon at home against the Hawks. A couple of interesting faces in there. Um, not all the players on the sides are uh, original players I have added some Hawthorne head onto the field as the crowd begins to roar look that guy there the banners look great as the players get he's set to run through he's an interesting through. character to be honest um, it's a big day for Hawthorne forwards if they can get on top of the Essendon defence they'll go a long way to winning the game so we'll land a cool one. Yeah, they should get absolutely flopped, to be honest. I don't know where they are on the ladder. Um, <laughs> but, I'm they run on in full confidence there, We've been a dominant Essendon and the crowd are appreciating We've it. made some interesting decisions with I'm our really playing list. I'm really looking forward to seeing um, how they play today. Next of year should be even better, really. Some of the plans in store for us. Kevin Smith, big short to McDonald, Tip and Woody. To get my commentating guys because this is 
is going to be a good match to commentate, the I believe. Both sides make their way to the Apple. middle for the coin toss. And Mr. Ben Pinchington Stratton. That's not Stratton. That's big, big boy McAvoy. What's he doing there? Anyway. Hawthorne kicking to the. Hawthorne won the toss. We've rarely lost the toss this year. That's that's not a good sign in my mind. Um. There we go. Let's go. Bell Chambers and McAvoy in the ruck. He kicks it down. Zaharakis tackled. Cunningham forces a ball up and is bumped in by Cubs. Cunningham tries to get it out. Shield tackles, spills the ball, and that's rough conduct going the way of Zach Merritt. Kicks along to Dylan Shield, who's had an outstanding season for the Bombers. Sicily couldn't mark that. Joe Danaher kicks for goal, kicks the goal. Up to a fly here, boys. It's always good to get the jump early on the teams because it leaves them in um, disarray. Obviously, it doesn't really affect it all that much because after all, they are just AI. But Bell Chambers, on his non preferred, snaps around the body with Donald Tip and Woody. Couldn't mark. Blake Harkin going to kick that. Goes to wing. Felmingham's there. Chooses to not go after it. Smith to Zaharakis. Gives the old, don't argue. Smith again kicks it. Fantasia couldn't. Pressure, pressure, pressure here. Lots of pressure. Jarman Impey's been injured, you know, it honestly doesn't surprise me the amount of times he gets injured. Bennett takes a mark. Uh, the difficulty is all Australian, I think. Pretty sure. Although sometimes this happens and it just doesn't work. Devin Smith will get a chance to line up for goal. Doesn't get many of these opportunities. But he takes it when he does. Devin Smith gets his first. This could be a long night for Hawthorne if they don't change something very quickly. Donald Tippenwoody couldn't make an impact on that contest. Joe Danaher lines up for his second. Typical Danaher misses. Well done. Not happy. He'll probably be going to Sydney next year, to be honest. Um, both in real life and in the game. Hardwick marks in the pocket. I don't know what he tried to do there. And Stringer tackled high. He has been a prominent forward all season. He doesn't miss. I mean, he does miss sometimes, but not today. Well done, Jakey. He's not as tall as you'd think, Jake Stringer. He's actually a poor at height. Coming here, but I don't know what you were doing there. Run rings around. There we go. Holding the ball. Well done. Kicks long to... Oh, Mosquito! Irving Mosquito. A brilliant mark. Just climbed up. I would say, yes, a big contender. Can he convert, though? He's pretty far out. I don't know if he's got the legs. Jake Stringer unfortunately mucked that up. Wingard takes a mark in the pocket. Burgoyne marks half back. Chooses to take it back, which was a risky move because Jake Stringer had an absolute paddock. Easily marked that. I would have probably thought he looked for a pass there. But no, he decides to slot it himself. Jake Stringer gets his second Essendon by 25. Um, 4 1 25 to 0 0 0. Well then. Birmingham with the clearance there. Fantasia looked to handball it. 
they are handballing a lot here. They are under pressure. And because of that, we force them to stuff up. And oh, that doesn't happen here. What else happens? Jager O'Meara. Wired to Bergwijn. Looks to move it to the corridor. Mosquito spoils Fantasia, just whacks it on the boot to Devin Smith, who couldn't mark McAvoy around the body. Danaher late to the contest, made an impact, couldn't mark, unfortunately. Mosquito around the body. McAvoy cuts it off. Mitchell tackled by Felmingham. He's becoming a real pressure player, Danaher long around the body, massive kick that could be seen as deliberate depending on how they, if it makes to the boundary line and that's out of bounds that's what they wanted Harrison Jones in the ruck got the tap out McAvoy couldn't mark Jones wanted to bring it back Sometimes you have to go back to go forward, it's understandable. Smith with the big bump, that's a high tackle. Goes inbound to Hardwick. He's played well in this early section of the game. O'Meara marks. Goes to the centre square, cut off by Saad Langford. Long kick. Jake Stringer. He's having an excellent early part of this game. Barrel Chambers in the ruck, gets the tap down to Shield. Goes long to Harrison Jones. Played well as a ruck forward in his debut season. Does he have the legs? Unfortunately not. Goes to the top of the square. Jake Stringer marks again. Kicks this, he's got four. Jake Stringer, four goals. Really considering from the difficulty up. Bell Chambers with the tap down, shield tackles. Zaharakis kicks long to half forward. O'Meara, cut off by Ridley. Ridley goes to the half forward flank where Frost marks. Hardwick again. That's Zach Merritt with the spoiled tackles. To McGrath. Goes deep inside 50. Smith along the ground. McDonald took Woody gets an easy goal. First of the game. Essendon by 43 in the first opening quarter. They would need a miracle to come back from here. Darcy Parrish tackles Hardwick, I think, high. Gunston. Nice. Looks to put this one inside 50, cut off by Hurley. He passes to Bennett, who takes his time to even mark it. Jones. With the spoil shield to Hooker to Felmingham, who kicks long inside 50 to f intercepted by Frawley. Easy option there in Scrimshaw. Looks to go back to McAvoy. McAvoy, whoops. And Hardwick again. McDonald gets his first position off the game. To Mitchell. They're just kicking it around at the moment as though they're in front, which they're not. This is like Essendon in real life, to be honest. Because then they, when they finally do go down the line, it just gets intercepted. Joe Danaher. Clever with the pass. Merritt. Looks to go long in the square, and that's a touch behind. Issued in by 44. 
Langford just cut that off. Really good player, Kyle Langford. He's really improved over his past couple of seasons, and that is a simple goal. The pressure is mounting on Hawthorne here. Clarko might want to fix his game plan. It's just not working at the moment. Essendon by 50 points in this opening quarter. Not good, to say the least. A minute 51 left in this quarter. They'd like a goal or even just a score, really. Shield. Long to Felmingham. He takes that mark. It's a pretty reliable kick on goal, Felmingham. Except not this time, because I pulled it way too much. That's a costly miss. And that is no prior opportunity. A minute eight left on the clock. They'd love a late goal here, the Bombers. Just a really push it in. McDonald's hit him Woody injured in that. And Joe Danaher who gets a pretty second goal in the board. Honestly, I need to check the difficulty because I don't think this is All-Australian. I'm very sceptical. Fantasia in the midfield. We look to always put the shield or just whoever's there, really. The mosquito again. We might look to go the torpedo this time. It's a bit further out. Left footer too, so he's on the right side. Can he make the distance with the torpedo? He can make the distance. He's just got to not let it get cut off. And Jager O'Meara unfortunately does. Essendon lead Hawthorne by 56 points going into the first break. It's pretty impressive. Um, a lot of goals, yes. Um, what do you think we have to do to continue this? Tell us in chat what we have to do. Here's Gaz to break down the stats. Hawthorne are intercepting the ball well, but they're not capitalising on the scoreboard. They need to find the ball more at ground level to capitalise on their dominance in the air. Thanks for that, Gaz. Yeah, tell us what we need to do um, to continue this streak of brilliance. Nine goals in the opening term. We are. They had one inside 50. That pretty much tells us everything. Um, we had a lot more handballs too, and a lot more kicks, and just shield six disposals, filming in four, Fantasia four, Stringer four goals. Um, that's all pretty, pretty good stuff. Um, I'm just going to check this difficulty because honestly I don't believe that this is... Yeah, it was one down. Not that it really matters actually, so we'll just... That's... The only thing that really changes with that difficulty is... Just their thinking capacity, which isn't very high to begin with. Um... Puopolo <laughs> gets his first possession of the game. He should retire. Oh, Saad with the invisible one percentage thingy. Wingard marks at half forward. It could be the wind at this end or something. Goal Chambers intercepts playing as a true ruckman behind the ball. Fantasia just stood there. Short to Danaher. He's got a long kick, Danaher. He can just about kick this. Mosquito along the ground. And McDonald just rushes that one forward. Bruce is their choice for kicking out. Or oh, they couldn't mark that. Shield got, got the handball, but unfortunately just took it out of bounds ever so slightly. Birmingham just whacks it on the ball. And unfortunately, that's out of the foot. Looks for an option. Kicks it short. The Hardwick, he had a good first turn. He can hopefully continue that. And McAvoy takes that mark. Long intercepted by Shield, who kicks it back inside 50. Donald Woody didn't mark Mosquito. Lucky bounce, perhaps. Oh no. That's it behind. Yeah, we'll be disappointed with that, but 
it was going to probably miss anyway. Fantasia around the body to Ridley. He's kicked three goals in one game this season. This will be his fifth goal of the season. A bit better than real life. Hasn't actually kicked a goal. Ever. It's his first of the game. Probably his last two, but hey, honestly, we'll be really well on that. Merish. Langford tries to tackle Wingard, doesn't work. How? Marks on the run. Looks for a wider option to Gunston. Goes deep inside 50. McGrath, blind handball, didn't work, and they get their first score of the game through Puopolo. Clever snap around the body from Paul Puopolo. That Ruckman tackle, I forgot his name. I'm very clever. Um, Merritt just knocks it to centre wing. Looks for Adam Saad, couldn't find him. Don't and Woody tries to run him down. Fairly with the punch to Burgoyne, who goes to Higgins. And he gets his first of the game. Also a player added, and he gets his first. Gives Bennett the old bump. They used to go to school together. Bit of trivia there for you. Um, where's Felmingham at, I wonder? On the bench, okay. That's allowed. I'll accept that. Thank you. Put him at the half four flank, I think. Shield somehow got boot to ball. Zaharakis tackles and Danaher follows up. Goal Chambers with this, the hit out again. He's gotten a lot of hit outs in. Pretty much every game this season, to be honest. That's a high tackle going the way of Wingard. Kicks wide to Sicily, the old one-handed mark. Oh, I don't know what just happened there, but that was just a very silly mistake. Just gets boot to ball, and that's going to go through. Irving Mosquito, opportunistic goal. I don't know. It's his first of the match. Bombers are just a buzz here. That was a pun, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> Merritt with the clearance wide out to Dylan Shield. He's playing on the wing right now for some reason. Very odd. Goes inbound to Jake Stringer, who we couldn't actually mark. That was James Crawley. Crossed on Fellingham. Two Fs. That, that time Frawley wasn't as lucky. They got the Shepherd there, they wanted that. Crow Chambers with the spoil, Ridley couldn't tackle. Sicily goes to... Oh, Bennett, I don't know how you marked that, mate. He goes the short little kick to McDonald. From the other team, mind you. Birmingham tackled. That's a ball up. McGrath with the clearance. It was an effective clearance, it was. They go long. Dylan Shield. Is that holding the ball? It is. And Tom Mitchell almost gives Shield a goal. He's kicked a goal in almost every game this season. And he's going to continue that. Yeah, it's just a different Essendon outfit in this game. He's already got 11 disposals this game. So um, that's very impressive of him. They're starting to rack up big numbers, the midfielders. Bennett couldn't mark. Ridley tackles, gets a free kick, and that goes Bennett's way instead. He must have been closer somehow. Impey intercepts. The intercepting... That's a tongue twister. Intercepting Impey's. Kiwopolo kicks it inside the centre square. Doesn't actually work whatsoever for them. He goes out wide. Smith tackled high. Looks to kick it inside 50. O'Meara marks. 
Apple with the spoil. Yeah, he's going to unfortunately just miss that. The captain just being consoled there by Fellingham as a sort of Fantasia. That was a push in the back going Fellingham's way directly in front of goal. He's kicked a goal off again this season as well that he's played. Um, he's dealt with a couple of injuries. He's had a pretty good game as well. He's a very high tackling player. Always has over seven tackles a game. Playing just very well, generally as a midfielder forward. Um, drafted as a midfielder. But, what are you going to do? Oh, McGrath. Just to put the icing on the cake. This could be Hawthorne's lowest score ever. I don't know exactly their lowest score ever is, but it would be close to this. McGrath. Put it this way, it's probably going to be their worst ever loss. Um, Impey, that's a half back. Kicks it short to Hardwick. He's continued his streak of brilliance from the first quarter. McDonald, Tip and Woody marks that one on the wing. Wides to Mitchell. Gathering a lot of the ball as normal. Looks for an option. Then kicks it short to Sicily, who actually didn't mark that. Well done, James Sicily. Obviously hasn't done his ACL like real life. Um, terrible injury, that. Parrish. That's almost going to be out in the full if it just goes past their head, but doesn't. Frost runs. Hooker. Just gets up out from the tackle. Gunston, long. That would have been wise to mark. And Higgins gets his second. He's kicked a fair few goals in his debut season as well. Generally plays centre half forward or ruck in real life. Um, short little kick. Can either of our forwards mark it? No, they can't. They just failed to make an impact on that occasion, but I won't, won't drill them for that because they've been pretty good. And Irving with Skeo, just, just tackles a bit too high there. Um, uh, they'll feel that. They're currently hanging on by an absolute thread here. This would be a mercy rule if it was junior football. In case you don't know what a mercy rule is, it's where over 70 points they just stop adding the score because they assume the percentage is pretty much already done that's a push in the back and Brian kicked that one to Razio Fantasia kicks that deep inside 50 Bennett has never kicked a goal he's so far short career and that could have that could this change and it does welcome to your first ever goal. He's never kicked a goal in his career before, and that has just changed right on half time. He's a happy looking fella. He just he didn't waste any time, he just went through and kicked it. He looked around and he's like, gotcha. So that puts us in front by 71 points at half time. Um, that's pretty bad for them. They've had six inside 50s. And we've had 30. So, Shield 11 disposals. Um, wow, yeah. That's pretty impressive. Here we go. Let's continue that um, first half. Or they could absolutely wipe us out of the park now, um, which would actually be kind of funny, but at the same time, not. 
And is that Patton? Jonathan Patton, that's right. Should have known that. Probably did his Achilles running after that goal. Knowing him. Shield. The bump. Just around the body. And that's just going to go straight back to Patton. And he can kick this. He's just got to take his time. Yep, but he's missed because he was just a bit too too casual with that goal, honestly. Um, side with the kick out. Goal changes. With the hit out as, as normal. Hurley just bangs that. Wingard. On half forward, he's got an open paddock to run to. Bennett couldn't mark, he's been from this game. It's probably his best game so far. And Don Woody tackles. Just a bit too much space there in that particular case. Mitchell just had an open paddock to run with as we were tackling when there was no one there. Well done, boys. Get that Bruce out the back. An opportunistic along the ground goal. He hasn't had many disposals this game, but it wouldn't surprise you really. That's pushing the back going to McAvoy, even though it should have been. It, no, never mind. Tim O'Brien going to line up from about 48 metres out. He's just brought that slightly to the left. They've at least kicked over 30 points. It's something. It's not great, but it's something. Hooker tackles. McDonald's and Woody on his left. Stringer. He's fast. He's just got to get the ball. And he's just brought that to the left. It was a bit too casual. Bruce wants to run. Goes wide to Isaac Smith. Zaharakis kicks it back inside 50 to Parrish. Darcy Parrish, that is. Obviously, there's no other Parishes on the team. Anyway, and he just slots that one home. 96 to 32. The score is at the moment 15 6, 96 to 5 to 32. It's just an unfortunate game, this is. Jones tackles. Right on. Callahan gets it on the boot. Goes long, but intercepted once again by Michael Hurley. Oh, Bell Chambers, he's taken a few of those this year. Very, very clever. Oh, Stringer just... Glove. Ran through the air, grabbed that. I'll try that once. Sad for the cameras went there. Anyway. <laughs> and he gets his fifth of the game. Playing very well in that forward, that main forward role. Um, with myself out yeah, and Jim. Ridley marks that one. Looks to go for the torpedo to send a half forward. Intercepted by Shields. Kicks it out wide to Howe. Passes that to Hardwick probably. Early with the spoil and Adam's side. Oh, he's got space. He's fast. He just needs to not get caught from the front. Oh, but Jarwin Impey out of nowhere. I honestly did not see that coming. 
I honestly thought they would just miss altogether. Pure offload, snap around the body. Don't tell me. No, he just kicked it in. That's a shame. Adam Saad gets short and Patton cuts that off. I really hate when that happens. It's really annoying. Kicks it behind. Okay, someone's going to have to mark this here. And Parrish does. Kicks deep inside their 50. Well, no, actually, on their 51. Higgins is a pretty clever player. Luke Bruce, I'm going to have to grab a thumbnail here because um, I forgot to really. So that is, if that's Hardwick, honestly, what is he doing here? I better not be Hardwick. He probably will be, to be honest. No, it's Bruce. Okay. That makes it okay. 102 to 40. Not as bad as it could have been. Gerard gets boot the ball. They just keep handballing. And because of that, Higgins gets his third. Do I go for Essendon? Yeah, I do. Yeah, my whole family supports him. And good reason. Oh, Hook is just. Oh, Parrish, out of nowhere. Okay. Impy playing on Jake Stringer. Short, almost cut off by Shield. Danaher hasn't been playing the goal kicking type of forward. He's just played as a tall target. A bit further out than uh, most other years. That's our bounds from Kale Hooker. Bell Chambers and McAvoy in the ruck. It's a mosquito around the body, if you don't mind, on his number third. That's pretty impressive. He gets his second. He's played a very good game as well. Gra caught up in a tackle there. Ball spills out. Early. He's just going to have to try something pretty special here. Couldn't. And Patton gets his second. That was an interesting scenario where he should have looked to kick it, but he chose to do otherwise with it. Don't do that. McGrath, clearance. Dylan Shield just stood there, a bit disappointing. Smith, Ridley with the spoil, pushed in the back. Probably should have handballed that. Bennett's a longer kick, and Langford marks centre wing. Kicks to centre half forward, and Joe Danaher on the run. He can probably kick this with a drop punt. Goes very long, but Frawley just cuts it off there at the last moment. McDonald marks deep inside their defensive 50. Oh, this could be costly for them. And that's why, because then he can just wind up. But Mitchell 
intercepts Fulton. That was probably saving grace there. But they don't want it to be cut off by, say, Zaharakis, who did exactly that. And he has definitely got the legs. 100%. Score of view, perhaps. <laughs> he gets his first. He's played mainly wing. Uh, he's playing Rover right now for some odd reason. Probably be alright as a Rover when he was younger. Um, he was alright actually as a Rover when he was younger. Callahan. I don't know if he's kicked a goal before, but he's not going to anyway. Essendon lead by 62 at the three quarter time break. Apple addressing the troops. Um, he looks to be fairly pleased with what's going on. <laughs> Gee, anyway. 114 to 52 at three quarter time. It could get much worse for them. But we only had we only had eight inside fifties that quarter. And they had at least ten. Um Shield didn't add any disposals in that quarter, which is surprising to be honest. Ambrose has not touched the ball once. I think I might drop him. Um, Heppel seven tackles, yeah. Nice. Dylan Shield still best on ground. Don't mistake that. Merit. Just. No good. There we go. Ridley couldn't mark. That player there, I'm not sure who it was, but they were there. Back. Ambrose gets his first touch. Dano! Massive. He's still played really well. I say he hasn't played much as a goalkeeper before. He's kicked two goals. Don't hurt again. This time around the body to Jake Stringer. I don't know who he was actually looking for there. Fantasia kicks it to the square. And they just take that over the line. Bergwijn couldn't mark and Merritt tries to snap around the body. Just didn't work to be honest. Joe Danaher just tried to knock it on the boot. Oh, Tiff and Woody. That's probably one of the worst misses in the history of the game. Wide to Hardwick. Has played very well. The Frawley. Didn't leave any room there on the mark. McDonald around the body. Hardwick again. No players for those guys. So they've just got an absolute, just heaps of space. Sam Frost kicks it out of bounds. Let's see what Essendon can do here. Can they bring back some of that brilliance from the first half? Because they have not been nearly as good as they were in the first half. Adam Saar just wants to run, run, run. We'll take that over the line. Excellent speed there. Now he's got to back it up and kick it long. To Jake Stringer. Hello, boys. There we go. Kicks to the half wall flank, Langford marks. Wants to pass it to Dylan Shield. He gets tackled. Burgoyne to Smith, also tackled. A ball up at centre half forward for the Bombers. Kicks long. Bennett tackles. He'll be the first ever tackle of his career, which is kind of sad. He's played a fair few games, but. Anyway, 
Orazio Fantasia late to the contest, takes the mark. Wants to go inside 50. Wants to go along the ground and that just... A bit too sloppy. Just a tad sloppy. Bergwijn. What else was he supposed to do? The Higgins playing. We marked it sent half back. With Gunston. Kuoplo. They're just slowly bringing it back. Ridley just brings it to ground. Didn't work. And O'Brien will get it. You think he can kick this? He's a fairly reliable kick, I believe. I've never actually watched him play. Turns out he is very reliable. You see that he's kicked one goal, one behind. 50% conversion rate is better than 0% conversion rate, so... Yeah. Smith. That's, that's nice. Oh, sure. He wanted to bring a younger player into the game, but he was already in the game more than Smith was. Parrish turns out to be an all right speed. He just needs to kick it, that's the main part. They just need to get a kick. Oh, bell chance, what are you doing? I'm tragic. Bruce. Wants to just get out of there as quick as possible. Frost tackles, McDonald Tip and Woody. Looks for the boundary line that could be seen as deliberate. And it's not. They generally don't pay deliberates inside the 450 in this game. For whatever reason that is. No one with the hit out. Underground handball from Felmingham just a bit, a bit sloppish. Barely with the spoil out to Higgins. Hooker couldn't tackle inside to Burgoyne. Barely. Definitely could tackle. Oh, Burgoyne, massive kick, but he is shanked at as far as shanking can go. Danaher brought it to ground. McGrath tackles Ridley along the outside of the body. Burgoyne tackled at their half back, now half forward, so that's very pleasing. So we're just we're just locking it in there right now. Mitchell tackled somehow got it out early to Ridley. Mitchell again. They need a mark here. Better be any hope. They need to. Oh, Higgins again. This for four. I made him a bit ghosted apparently. Burgoyne with the clearance, out to O'Brien, looks to wheel around, and Brewster's there. Just really need to really get off that mark. Oh, he's going to give away for And Bruce kicks that, just gives him the, that little bit of hope. Bruce has got three. I don't know what they did at half, at half time, but they have, they've fought ever since that time. Um, we haven't been nearly as good. My commentary hasn't been as good either. It's better in the first half. And we were winning because I knew all the names of the players. Hurley goes down the wing. No one marked. Langford from Mosquito. Wants to keep it going. Goes quickly. To Stringer. He's got space. That's a got. Oh, what? No, that's a behind. So Jake Stringer and he says, oh, shut up, mate. I don't care. Sicily. Cut off by Langford. And they force a ball up. Still time. 
for them to uh, just kick a few goals. Either us or them. Probably them looking at how the game's going. Hurley. Hard to say who's won that battle there. Goes to Langford. He wants to go back. Oh, high tackle. It's a filming here. Yeah, I'm going to be safe here and use the torpedo. And that's just going to slot straight through. Look at that. Beautiful. Kicks his second. About eight disposals, five tackles, two goals. Not bad. Not a bad day at all. I've been a bit out of sorts at midfielders, just a little bit. Um, I do not know why that is. But they're just, at this exact moment in the game, not firing on all cylinders. Here's a chance for them to get just that late goal, make the margin not as bad. Take your time, kick the goal. Come on, you wouldn't. That's just a behind, unfortunately. Let's finish the game on a high note with Joe Danaher. That's a high note if ever there was one. Nice. And that is the end of the game. Solid win by the SM Bombers there. Very pleasing to say. Uh, player of the match was Jake Stringer. Yeah, well, a very good game on a lot of aspects. There's a few little things we need to work on. We sort of faded towards the end. Um, only kicked four goals, five goals after half time but they did come back a fair bit we are really absolutely killed them but they restricted us um, I'll credit them for that and uh, yeah see you later